When we first released this film in 2008, the diagnostic rate of autism was 1 in 166 children. Today, in 2012, that number has nearly doubled to 1 in 88. Autism is a childhood disorder. The onset of the disorder is before the age of 3. Um, that doesn't mean it has to occur, that the diagnosis has to occur before the age of 3, but the onset of the disorder is. There's three features that um, constitute autistic disorder. One feature being a language deficit, a second a social deficit, and the third is the presence of self-stimulation. I did know that something was wrong. She pointed out all of the things that were not developing normally. She, she gave me basically a checklist of the things that, that weren't happening right. And um, at the time, there was a behavior therapist on the premises. She was working with another child um, as a shadow, helping him to facilitate him in the preschool. And she had noticed Sam as well. And apparently, the behavior therapist and the teacher had been observing him for quite some time before they came to me to, to um, let me know of their suspicions. And they confided to me that through their preliminary observations that he was classically autistic. He fit the profile. You know, within uh, the first year to realize that our son had severe autism, not only autism, but he was a very severely affected little boy. And the therapies um, have helped him tremendously but we wanted more. We wanted him to have a chance at having the kind of life that we've had. Of course, you start meeting other parents of um, autistic children. Unfortunately, there's a lot of autistic children around these days. But back when Claire and I got the news about our son, people still talked about this uh, incidence as being something like one or two in 10,000. It didn't take us long to realize that, that couldn't be. We, had a couple of two immediate friends who had autistic children. For half of the kids, we know exactly what we're doing and we can carry out discrete trials. But for the other half of the kids, uh, how to go about developing a treatment for them that's effective, uh, I think we would have to go in and look at the neurological deviations that blocks their learning. She might be able to look at a word and know that it's a tree, but if you'd go outside and see an actual tree, she might not connect that. So the connections weren't being made in some way. Applied behavior analysis is, again, the methodology that we utilize. Um, applied behavior analysis has really, um, a, there's myths around it, and that's kind of interesting, in that it's often seen as only approach for young autistic children. Sometimes you hear it's an approach that's just for lower functioning autistic children. That's not, it's certainly good for all children with autism, young autistic children, children that are lower function, but applied behavior analysis is a methodology that's used for everybody. Uh, it's like building a person where they're wasn't much before. So you start with say, lang some early language, teach the kid to imitate, uh, teach the children to, to talk, to play with toys and play with peers and you know, so it, it's a stepwise sort of um, treatment program. Probably like a lot of husbands, if it wasn't for my wife, I'd still be wondering what was wrong with my son, um, not acknowledging and recognizing uh, the seriousness of his issues and uh, his autism. My first uh, entry into the biomedicine of it was in Bernie Rimland's work with vitamin B6. Well, if kids get better with vitamin B6, which we know is a very vital uh, um, element in all the mechanisms that go on in the brain and elsewhere in the body, what is the biochemistry that we're dealing with here? He also uh, advocated uh, dimethylglycine, which is DMG, and noted that some kids would start talking shortly after they would take this. Not all of them, but enough to get the idea, this is there's something going on here in the brain, chemically, that needs to be looked into. Um, and we could see it was going to take uh, medical research, scientific research, it was going to take getting the scientific community to very, very seriously delve into this and figure it out and how to begin, where to start, that was hard. Um, we started a foundation, that was our response. Autism is a severe, lifelong neurological disorder that usually strikes in the first two years of life. Half of all autistic children never learn to speak. 
Today, autism is a national crisis, affecting nearly half a million families. More common than Down syndrome, MS, or cystic fibrosis. Yet autism receives less than 5% of the funding of the other diseases. We can't wait till someone else decides to help these children. We need to cure autism now. It's a collaborative effort. No one person is going to solve this by himself. The original concept for the changing face of autism was to show what it's like to be a parent faced with the news that your child has autism, to document the frustration and frantic desire to make sense of it all, but it ended up being so much more. It became a tribute to those parents and scores of professionals dedicated to making a positive difference. It became a way for people not familiar with autism to understand it a little better. Great strides have been made since the film's release in 2008 with the help of organizations like Autism Speaks, but there's so much more to be done. The good news is that parents, teachers, and doctors are getting the message about the importance of early intervention, but significant challenges remain within the education community and beyond to adulthood. Sometimes these planes be separated, sometimes in the ground. The tireless efforts of researchers, doctors, and therapists are creating milestones along the lengthy path toward a cure. In spite of the advances in research and therapy, a diagnosis of autism can create a sense of denial and helplessness. And you said it would take 30 days and it's now been in excess of 75 days. The world of autism has no borders, no timetable, nor social demographic boundaries. It is multinational and as diverse in its degrees of severity as are the millions who suffer from it. Across the world, organizations and unique communities are serving those in need. We need to understand that all children with autism grow up. Mr. Patrick Cooper, Nick Briones, and Kelly McEwen. Thank you. It is possible to dramatically increase the quality of life for these children with early intervention and access to appropriate services. Every day we are getting closer to answering some of the questions about the world of autism. Open your heart, open your mind. Cause you're my Hey!